So today we're going to talk about learn Chinese through creativity. Uh, and my name is MC, and I'm so glad to be here to share some uh, information or resources with you. So in this presentation, this will be the content we're going to talk through. The first one is introduce my background, also Ichi Hands of the company, and then we'll go into the methods and uh, resources to learn and teach Chinese characters, including learn and teach with creative visuals, with storytelling, uh, also with radicals and the components. Last, we'll talk about how to teach based on different ages. Then we'll got you some special deals and a Q&A part. I'll go through the questions at the end. Uh, so if you have any questions, just put into the chat. Uh, I speak Chinese and uh, English, so you can put either Chinese or, or English into the box. Uh, so the last one, uh, I'll share all my uh, contact information. Then we'll get started. So about me, um, I am actually a designer. So I'm not an educator at the very beginning. I'm a designer. Like I, I studied graphic design and uh, interaction design. Uh, I graduated from the top design school uh, from the Parsons in New York City. Uh, and uh, I won a lot of like visual design uh, awards. And I've been working as a product designer, working on website, mobile app, design for them uh, for five years. So I'm really good at storytelling and uh, user uh, experiences. I think that experience helped me to understand my followers, my users better, or my students better. So I can um, tailor for their needs. And I've been doing like traditional watercolors, Chinese painting since I was a kid and also calligraphy. I think that's why it bring me to and about ET Hands, so I funded ET Hands in 2020. Here is some of the products. So we have the online learning center and we have the flashcards, physical flashcards, uh, and some merchandise. And also I started from social media. So you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok uh, at ET Hands. So what about the story? When I started, you see the screen on the right, those are characters I created. So why at the beginning I choose to start to create like visual creative characters because I seen a lot of creative, colorful English lettering online. And I was wondering why can't Chinese be the same? Because uh, mostly I just saw like traditional calligraphy, which are like a black, white-ish, but I never seen like something colorful, something like a more visual creative. So that's why I started this journey. But if you see at the very beginning, my style of drawing is different than the current one. I think it's a process of refinement. At the very beginning, I draw it into like this yu and a zhu. It's paintings only. But gradually, I find out if I add the strokes of the character and based on the strokes and just change elements to represent the meaning, people will understand better and uh, correlates better and uh, can remember characters easily. Then, as I mentioned, I started from social media. So I started posting uh, my drawings on Instagram and uh, like I was so flattered that people love it and think it's helpful for them to remember characters and know uh, the stories behind characters. And that gives me a lot of confidence to keep doing what I do. Then later on, I started some short videos, even longer video on YouTube, just to talk about why and how characters were created and how you can remember it easily, etc. So I think this method really help Chinese learners. So some of the feedback you can see here, your way of teaching is useful and entertaining. And someone mentioned learn like a kid because kids, when they learn, uh, they tend to be more visual. Also, besides the feedback from users, Chinese learners, I also like submit my calligraphy to uh, some international awards. And I've the, the one on the right are the words I achieved. So it's not only tested by the users, but also from a design thinking, I think it, it is uh, awarded as well. So it gave me more confidence. So next session, we'll go into methods and the resources to learn and teach Chinese characters. The first one is to learn and teach with creative visuals. Chinese character is different than any other language because a lot of them are from like a pictograph or image wise. So 
when people don't know Chinese character, when I sign my name in Chinese, I, I heard from people, oh, I, I thought you are doing some serious, uh, like drawings. I was amazed by how they see Chinese characters as images because they are, they are images. Uh, so I think to make the character like a visual creative image can really help people to uh, correlate and see the, the meanings from the character. So for example, the first one, when you don't see, when you cover the meaning of the character, you will guess it's probably some kind of fruit. So that's guo, fruit. Then second one, tell yourself, okay, there is a thread. I think it's a, like a plug or it's electricity. So it can give you more of a background uh, rather than the meaning of the character, uh, like a visual correlation. So to help you to memorize. And the last one, Ting, it's a pavilion. And it's really obvious from the, the character itself. It just looks like a pavilion. Um, the second one is to learn and teach with, with storytelling. There are two scenarios. First one is the original stories of how characters were created. So it can help people not only know the character, but understand the history and the culture behind the characters. I'll take an example as the Hun. I think it's one of my favorite character, um, meaning marriage. Hun, the first one on the bottom. Mm, so why is it meaning marriage? If you look into the components, there is a nu, meaning woman, and the Hun, the other side, meaning uh, after sunset. So why a woman after sunset together means marriage? Uh, so that reflects the history when people still living in traps. So people find out couples from different tribes uh, try to have kids with less problems, more healthy, versus couples from the same tribes. We all know that the similar genes can cause problems. And they find kids uh, from like the same tribe couples often get more problems. So they started to uh, do bread kidnapping from other tribes to like kidnap brats. And that often happens after sunset when it's dark, no one can see them. So that's why it has the new and the Hun components. So I'll take another example, Jia, uh, the middle one, a home. Uh, this is my favorite character, it really. So at the top, if we look at the components, the top, um, meaning a roof. And at the bottom, shu, uh, meaning zhu, um, pig. So why a pig under a roof, meaning home? Because at ancient times, rich people or powerful people uh, will have a home, not like everyone, because it requires a place to stay. Uh, then it requires you have food, which is zhu represents you have a lot of food at home to consume. So a place to stay, uh, things to eat, it's been called home. Um, then the second one, if you can't find the original story, you can always create a story yourself while teaching or while learning just to help you uh, memorize characters. For example, the last one, Sheng, is to be born or to grow. So you can imagine the middle one stroke, Shu, uh, you can imagine it as a sprout and it grow from layers, layers of uh, soils. So you can tell yourself, okay, this I see the sprouts growing from the soils and finally it, it gets out. Then this, um, the third one is Chinese radicals and the components. I've talked about this hundred times. I think it's really the key to learn Chinese characters because they have a system. Uh, if you know it, you can really simplify uh, the whole process. For example, we take the Cao Zito, grass, for example. So every character with cao zito, meaning some plant-ish related. So for example, the first one, we have see the cao zito, we at the very beginning will know it's plant related. Then you see, okay, there's a hua underneath, that's the sheng zi pang, sheng pang. So together it means flower. And the second one, we see cha cha, meaning tea. We see when we see the cao zi tou, we already know it. Okay, it's plant related. Same as the last one, um, miao sprout. See, we know it's 
some sort of plant related, then there is a tian field underneath. So a sprout growing from field. Um, that makes total sense. So you just need to know the components, the radicals first, then it can really help you to simplify the learning process. Um, then we'll take into another example of the yan zi pang, meaning speaking, talking, tell yan zi pang. So every character uh, with the yan zi pang, meaning speaking related. For example, the first one to count. So we, when at the very beginning, when we learn counting, we, we use our mouth, right? Yi jia er deng yu san, for example. Uh, so you use your mouth, you talking to count. Then the second one, xun, xun to lecture, to, to like teach someone a lesson. For example, what the parents, what the, what the 父母小时候会教训我,会训我. So if we see the character, why? So the, the, the radical yan means speaking related and chuan meaning a river. If you speak like a river, meaning endlessly, that when your parents is, like, like giving you a lecture, they just can't stop talking and uh, they speak like an endless river. I think that makes total sense. And the last one, xie, xie, xie. thank you. We all know that. By the way, if you wanted to check out the details, I think the QR code on each uh, card I present here, you can scan it and uh, see the page detail on each character. Then I have, uh, I want to show you some resources uh, each hands got. So for example, you can sign up with our newsletter. This one on the right image is an example I send out uh, gradually to my newsletter subscribers. So it's clickable when you click on the video uh, where the character, it will lead you to the learning, yeah, the learning center or YouTube videos. And there's also QR code to take you to see more details. So this one is Chinese radicals uh, uh, part one. So some common Chinese characters and some examples. And I also have detailed uh, video explanations. Then let me get you into the learning center. I'll show you the learning center, then the YouTube IG videos. Okay. Okay, this is app.hihanzi.com. So if we go to the radicals here, we can see all the most common um, radicals. When we click on, for example, Ren Zipang, so the list under in Ren Zipang are all characters with Ren Zipang. Then if you wanted to see the detail, you can click on each character and it takes you to a single page of the character. Uh, there is the meaning, also uh, writing worksheet. So you can like a print from here uh, then to practice stroke uh, writing. It's uh, the letter says, and then the meaning and also vocabularies and that there is a relevant characters by components. So here it's all the like um, characters with Ren Zipang and here is all the characters with the men component. Then also there is like writing strokes, uh, sentences. Here you can also ex practice digitally. Uh, here it will, oh. <laughs> I, I made it wrong. Okay, cool. Uh, then some sentences. I think, for example, call. So from here, you can see all the like a common radicals with some most common characters into it. If there is a video, okay, there's also like a videos available for some of the characters. Then I also talk about the details of the story and how to uh, learn Chinese characters on YouTube videos. That's like longer videos versus on Instagram. I have a lot of learning resources uh, for shorter, shorter videos.
for example, the jia, the good, the, the stories of jia I just told you. Uh, so that's all the, the resources you can find. So you can like subscribe the newsletter. Hey, where is it? Okay, no. Let me go back to this presentation mode. Okay, I'll give you all the like where to subscribe newsletter uh, at the end at at the back. Uh, so you will receive like learning resources like this in the future. Then we'll keep going with the presentation. So last one is how to teach based on different ages. Uh, <laughs> I have this short video of like a toddler like a preschooler learn Chinese characters because I think most of them are visual learners because they look for something fun, uh, something like interesting, colorful. So the, the visual flashcards really plays a role in toddler life. For example, this is my friend's kid and she's holding the, the characters. And I think um, kids in that age are really drawn by the visuals of the, the character. Then it's how to teach based on different ages for school uh, age children. So make it engaging and creative. I know during the classroom, it's really hard to get their attention, like how to uh, keep them engaged. It's really the key. For example, we provide all sorts of worksheets. For example, for the Fay, uh, we have this print bowl worksheet. Uh, that will be available soon on the uh, website. So on each character or most of them, you can download a worksheet, then you can let the students to color it, to uh, be more creative about the characters. Then we ha also have some holiday-ish uh, worksheet, uh, the Wan Sheng Jie Halloween that's happened recently. So that's a worksheet you can download from the link I provided to you. We have how to teach based on different ages for the young adult. Uh, adult. I think it's really make it logical and support self-learning. As I mentioned, there is a grammar for Chinese characters, uh, the radicals component, and there's original stories, research all together. And for uh, adults, they often learn based on HS case. We also have HSK levels on the website. Then we have the writing uh, sheets that probably tailored more uh, like adults, young adults, they can finish the whole sheet. Um, then we also have like a quiz on the website to help you uh, review everything. The special offer. So if you wanted to shop the flashcards or stickers, uh, the merchandise, you can get 10% off on our shop. Uh, with this code, Ichihanzi10, it's a uh, worldwide shipping, but you you have to pay a higher shipping fee to uh, places outside of US. Then if you got like a school subscriber, five subscriber subscriptions on the learning center, I can give you a one free subscription. For example, if five students uh, subscribed, I can provide a one free to you, the teacher. Um, then you can just email me at mc at ichihanzi.com.